Hi, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot, bringing you another LED Grow Light unboxing, review, and par test. Today, I'll be reviewing the new HLG 550 V2 R Spec Full Spectrum Quantum Board LED Grow Light by Horticulture Lighting Group. Hit the like button and also the subscribe button below if you want to see more in depth reviews of the best and brightest LED grow lights. Let's get this unboxed. The HLG 550 V2 R spec comes double boxed and discreetly shipped. Included in the box is a screwdriver to adjust the dimming, wire hangers, ratchet hangers and some literature on the HLG 550V2, including Spectrum and PAR, and another sheet on the HLG 550V2. The HLG 550V2 R spec is a commercial grade LED grow light designed to be used in both small home grows or large scale grows. It was released in late April 2019. The R spec is an upgrade from the HLG 550V2. So how does the R-Spec differ from the HLG 550V2? 1. Diodes. The HLG 550V2 R-Spec contains a 3500K white light diode as opposed to the 3000K or 4000K that the standard V2 came with. This means that there is a little bit more blue in the diode. This extra blue assists in keeping plants stout during veg and increasing quality during flower. The blue is partly balanced out by the addition of an Osram SSL 660 nanometer deep red diode. The 660 nanometer deep red is very efficient and increases the electrical efficiency of the fixture and photosynthetic efficiency of the spectrum. The electrical efficiency is increased because quality 660 nanometer deep red diodes exude more light per watt than other diodes. The photosynthetic efficiency is increased because the 660 nanometer diode targets the photosynthetic peak at around 660 nanometers. The extra red in the spectrum also contributes to faster growth via the Emerson effect and a faster finish. 2. Par Efficacy The spectrum and diode change gives the R-Spec a 0.1 micromole per joule increase over the HLG 550V2. This is about a 4% jump in efficiency from 2.5 micromoles per joule to 2.6 micromoles per joule. 3. Light Output The fixture also exudes more light over the HLG 550V2, coming in at 1,257 micromoles per second versus the V2, which exudes a PPF of 1,178 micromoles per second. That is slightly more than a 6% increase in light output. You can view a link to the independent third-party lab report in the description. Let's dig into the R-Spec a bit more. The fixture measures 26 inches by 20 inches by 3 inches, and it weighs 18 pounds. There are 1,088 Samsung LM301B 3500K diodes and 64 Osram 660 nanometer deep red diodes across the entire fixture. A large Meanwell HLG 480H C2100A driver sits on top of the light and powers the quantum boards on the bottom of the fixture. The rest of the unit is a low profile aluminum heat sink. The R-Spec is rated for 110 volts to 240 volts AC. The lab report lists a wattage draw of 483 watts at the wall and 2.23 amps at 220 volts. When I measured the fixture's wattage draw at the wall, I received a reading of 515 watts with an amperage of 4.3 at full power. When the potentiometer was turned all the way down, I received a wattage reading of 196 watts at 1.65 amps. This wattage discrepancy between HLG's lab test, 483 watts, and my kilowatt meter, 516 watts is due to the fact that their fixture was tested at 220 volts and mine at 120 volts. There's also a plus or minus 10 watt fluctuation at full power. When shipped in the US, the power cord and plug is available in 120 volts and 240 volt US. The R-Spec is ETL certified for commercial grow operations. We recommend ETL or UL certification for all commercial grows. The R-Spec is designed to replace a 1000 watt single-ended metal halide or HPS grow light. There's a three year manufacturer's warranty on this fixture. HLG assembles the quantum boards in the United States and assembles the complete fixtures in the States as well. Let's take a closer look at the spectrum. 
Let's also compare the HLG 550V2 spectrum with the RSpec spectrum, which will allow you to see the changes in the spectrum. Notice the nice increase in blue and 660 nanometer red bump. There is naturally far red or infrared as some people call it in the white light diode. So if you're wondering if the spectrum has it, yes, it does. There is no UVA or UVB in the spectrum. This is not required for good growth. Many companies do not put it in their fixtures since it may decrease the lifespan of the entire fixture since UV diodes have a shorter lifespan than other diodes, and burnt out diodes aren't fun to find. If you want to add UV to the spectrum, consider using a supplemental UV reptile bulb or LED supplementation bar. Overall, the spectrum is pretty killer and optimized for full cycle growth and flowering. The vegetative footprint for this light is a 6 foot by 6 foot area, or 36 square feet. The flower footprint is recommended for up to a 4.5 foot by 4.5 foot area, or 20.25 square feet. I would say that this fixture does a solid 4 foot by 4 foot area, which is 16 square feet, but may be used in up to a 5 foot by 5 foot space, but expect less light per square foot. The hanging distance for veg is about 36 inches, or you might consider hanging it closer and dimming down the light to 50% intensity. The flower hanging height is recommended at around 24 inches. This is the best distance for the highest intensity while maximizing uniformity. Any closer, you may risk burning your plants. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a 4 foot by 4 foot Gorilla Grow tent. As always, keep in mind that the reflective nature of the tent could increase par readings everywhere, especially in the corners and edges. And let's see those readings now. Our first reading is going to be at 36 inches above the tent. 36 inches, you can see we're getting just below 700 PPFD right in the center. Moving off to the side of the tent, drops down to around 565 PPFD, and you can see that I have my meter angled and into the corner. Around 510 PPFD, and let's check this other side. Just right around 550 PPFD as well. And just gonna move it around a little bit. This distance and intensity would be perfect for veg. You could also flower at lower intensities at this distance. The next reading is gonna be at 24 inches. Right in the center, looks like we're getting just over 1000 PPFD. So this is at 24 inches. I would not go any closer than 24 inches unless you're using CO2 and you know what you're doing. Otherwise you can burn your plants. See the uniformity is gonna be a little bit lower at this distance into the corner, about 570 PPFD. And into this, or onto this other side, about 710 PPFD. And I'm going to do the same thing and just move it around a little bit just to check out that uniformity. And the last reading is going to be at 18 inches just to demonstrate how powerful this light is at this distance. So we're just over 1500 PPFD, which is probably about the maximum that you want to flower plants at. I wouldn't recommend this distance for most people, just a little bit too hot. But those PPFD readings are still coming in pretty strong on the sides and edges and corners. Yeah, a little too intense. Next reading is going to be at 36 inches, and this is at 50% intensity. So I'd recommend this distance and intensity for clones. It may be a little too intense for seedlings. Could also veg at lower intensities at this distance. It's fairly even coverage. And this last reading is going to be at 24 inches at 50% intensity. So intensity jumped up a little bit, 450. This would be a good veg height and intensity.
moving into the corner, about 235 PPFD. And this other side, 300. So overall, the HLG 550 V2 R spec puts out plenty of light for flowering. During veg, you wanna start high or reduce the intensity to around 50%. For flowering, you want to lower it to around 24 inches, 30 inches, and increase the intensity to 100%. Hope that helps a little bit. The MSRP on the HLG 550 V2 R spec is $891.65, plus free shipping in all 50 states with no additional tax. This price is 15% off the suggested retail price. Click the link in the description to view the product page or purchase this fixture. Check out LEDGrowLightsDepot.com for the latest and most trusted LED grow lights, and smash that like button below if you found this review helpful in any way. This also tells the YouTubes that this video is relevant and useful. And be sure to subscribe for more LED grow light reviews, giveaways, and awesome LED content. Follow us on Instagram too, link in the description. See ya!